So I made this card game in Guru 4.5 in just one day. I know that might sound impossible, but I achieved it using some hidden tools in Guru Engine that most people don't know about. As an indie game developer, you don't exactly need to create everything in a game yourself, except you want to grow old before finishing your dream game. So let me show you how I created everything without having to work for six months like my first game, The Legend of Ikemba. Nearly gave up on that project, but thank God I did it. I also started a new Christian apocalyptic sci fi 3D game using Guru Visual Scripting. More on the project later in this video. So open your asset lib and search for an add on called Simple Car and install it. This add on will be used to create the car we're going to be using for our game. The second add on we'll be using is called KKIT City Builder. Search for it and install the add-on in the add-ons folder. If you don't have a folder named add-ons, then create it. This amazing add-on comes with pre-made 3D models that you can use to build your own city. The next add-on you will need is the Terrain 3D add-on. This add-on is used to create an open world terrain where you can drive and do other things. I have a more detailed video on how to use this add-on. The link will be in the description. Now go to your project and project settings, select the plugins and activate the terrain 3D add-on. Now create a new 3D scene. Go to the file system and search for a scene called dodge.tscn inside the car add-on folder. Drag the scene into the 3D environment and make it local in the scene for easy editing. Also search for the script named basecar.gd and drag it onto the root node of the dodge.tscn scene. These are the codes you're going to be using for controlling the car and the camera of the car. Save the car scene in the scenes folder. Now create a new 3D scene. Right click and add the terrain 3D. This is how you will create the open world terrain. For a more detailed video on how to use the terrain 3D add-on, check the links in the description. After creating the terrain, save it as a scene. Add the car scene to the city, which is the main scene, and add a directional light to the scene. Now let's test the car, and you can see you can be able to control it using the arrow keys on your keyboard, and it actually moves smoothly. Go on to add the world environment and adjust the settings to make the scene better. Remember, I am running Google 4.5 in the compatibility mode. So this is not a display of the full graphics capabilities of Godot engine. Now let's open the KKIT City Builder folder. You can drag in any of the models into the scene. Right click to make it local and create a collision shape around it using the create collision shape. So add all the models you want to use, including roads, buildings, and other street structures to build your city the way you like it. So after creating everything and adding light to your city, the game is ready to be tested. So when we play the game, we can see that it is smooth and very interesting. And that is how I made this card game in just one day. This is a sample product that can help you to create a more complex game with additional coding and more rigorous development. As I said before, in the beginning of the video, I have started working on a new and exciting game project. The game project is a Christian apocalyptic sci-fi 3D game that happens in the year 2050. I will be posting a devlog of my progress in the game development process on this channel. 
So make sure you subscribe to keep up with my progress. And if you are interested in this project, just write Christian Game in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.